What is up guys? Welcome back to the Bull Combo. Hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm coming at you guys with a special video because I just saw something pretty awesome yesterday that I wanted to talk about. So stick around while we talk about Microsoft Mesh, what it is, what it means for the virtual land space, and how it could fast track the future of Earth 2. Alright guys, so before we get started, if you want to support the channel in any way, make sure to use some of the support links down below. Any of that support would be appreciated, guys. And if you haven't watched it already, make sure to watch my last YouTube video so that you can enter the Earth 2 land giveaway I'm running there. You have to comment on that video, which is why I'm pointing you guys to that video. So make sure to check that out. The entry rules are at the beginning. Make sure to follow all those steps and you'll be entered for the weekly land giveaway of 20 plots on Combo Island in the Marshall Island. Alright guys, so let's talk about Microsoft Mesh. To be quite honest with you guys, a lot of the times when I make videos like this, I have some sort of script structure, not even a script, but some sort of talking points, things I want to highlight, things I want to talk about, main points that I want to get across during the course of the video. But quite honestly, I didn't put any of that together for this video because it kind of just came to me spur of the moment. I saw the video on Microsoft Mesh and it got me so excited, to be honest with you, just so excited at the potential of virtual reality, augmented reality, that I just felt compelled to make this video and talk about my feelings on it and some of my excitement surrounding it. If you haven't already, I definitely recommend checking out the trailer that Microsoft posted on YouTube yesterday. It looks pretty incredible, guys. I'll link it down below in the description so that you guys can see it directly, but basically what it looks like Microsoft Mesh is is a combination of software, so some sort of AR software in combination with uh, augmented reality hardware. It doesn't quite look like it's the current rendition of HoloLens. So it looks like not only were they revealing the platform of Microsoft Mesh, but in some ways they were also giving us a sneak peek at some of the future augmented reality devices we could see coming from Microsoft. And quite frankly guys, I really liked everything I saw in this video. This really shows just how far ahead augmented reality is pushing at such a quick rate. Honestly, I didn't really think that AR and VR were going to take off quite as fast as they have. It almost seems like Every day over the last few weeks, there's been at least one announcement about a new company that's either releasing or in the process of releasing a new augmented reality device, or a company that's working on some sort of virtual world or multiverse, or the idea of virtual meetings. Uh, so I think Microsoft Mesh is just the latest announcement in a long string of recent announcements that kind of just reinforce the fact that uh, AR is taking off a lot faster than I think a lot of us really thought it would. And some might attribute it to the fact that it's a pandemic right now and people are looking for alternate ways to engage uh, and interact with each other because we can't all be physically together as much as we'd like to be. And in many ways, I think that that's kind of driving it. But it's really interesting to see that it's taken off from being something that in many ways was just a fad or had some potential in the five to 10 year realm to something that's being embraced wholeheartedly right now by tech companies and by, and by large organizations and large corporations that normally don't take risks on things unless they're certain that that risk is going to pay off for them. You know, I mean, Facebook's a pretty good example of that, the Facebook horizon. I feel like everything Facebook does for as much controversy as they receive, they're pretty successful. I think that that's just, that just shows when large companies start putting their trust in something like augmented reality, when you see Apple working on something, when you see Microsoft working on something, when you see Facebook working on something, when you see the Snapchat AR lenses that are out right now and actually let people virtually try on clothes, it's pretty clear that augmented reality and virtual reality is kind of just being embraced as the future of now. So I'm really interested just to see where augmented reality goes over the next year specifically because Again, at first I thought it was gonna be a pretty slow ascent into that realm, but it's really seeming like we kind of might run in there full steam ahead. So I'm really interested to see how much progress we make on it this year. I'm more curious to see what actually gets released this year because I think we might see our first taste of, of some of that next generation of, uh, of interactivity and socializing with some of these platforms. I know Facebook Horizon's already been in the, the beta phase for a little bit now, so chances are that'll probably be hitting general availability this year. But just some of the other platforms, especially things like Microsoft Mesh, uh, when you see that level of integration that they're showing there, uh, you know, just being able to throw those glasses on and, and work in the same room as somebody or with somebody's avatar and interact with those objects in, in very much a, obviously a 3D plane, but in a very uh, visceral and real way. I think that that's just, that's got so much intrigue and I, it's really hard to look at that and not think that that is really exactly where we're going to be going. Uh, I mean, it has all the telltale signs of the future of our technology. So I just wanted to get on here guys and kind of talk about Microsoft Mesh a little bit, kind of spitball, get my thoughts out. 
was really excited when I saw the trailer and I kind of wanted to share my thoughts with you guys because I'm curious to see what you guys think. I know a lot of people haven't seen the trailer yet. It's only got like a hundred, hundred something thousand views. So obviously not widely viewed by the masses yet. I think it'll probably take off here over the next week or so. And we'll probably see a lot of views for it. So make sure to check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm super curious to hear what you guys think about this. I'd really just like to start the conversation surrounding AR and VR. I think it's a really fascinating space. And I think that it is definitely one of those platforms that if you can get in on early and understand early on, it'll be very beneficial long term because again, it's pretty clear that this is a transition that we're gonna take a little bit quicker than a lot of us expect. And because of that, I think it's just worth talking about. I think it's worth mentioning. I think it's good to start the conversation on it now, really get people thinking about it as a valid and viable alternative to some of the current technology that we have and some of the current social interaction options that we have. Because I think if anything, the pandemic's really just highlighted the need for alternate means of interaction and communication and commerce uh, and education. So uh, I think that this right now is a very pivotal moment for technology and specifically augmented reality. I think that they have a moment to capitalize this. And I was thinking about this earlier. A lot of us view Earth 2 as an investment and in many ways a risk or a gamble. And there's nothing wrong with that because it's really early on. But I was thinking, I really feel like the Earth 2 team themselves took the biggest risk of all by betting and gambling on the fact that augmented reality and virtual reality and virtual land were going to take off in the very near future. Uh, and I think at the time that Earth 2 was being developed and worked on, that was less a sure thing. It's easy to say that now because it is taking off, but back when it was being developed late last year and even earlier, uh, I don't think that there was as much certainty there. So in many ways, it's really impressive to see that the Earth 2 team's gamble has paid off like this and that they're, they're entering the space at the right time. They're entering the arena at the right time. And uh, if they can push this app and push this platform to the levels that they would like to and what we would like to and they can actually pull that off uh, you know, there's a lot of staying power here for the earth 2 platform and just seeing the overall transition to augmented reality and virtual reality kind of just reinforces the fact that the earth 2 team might know a little more than we think they do and that they might have seen this or had some hint that this trend was coming and you know i think that that's just intriguing and that's something to think about in and of itself because uh, at the end of the day all businesses are risks and while we can look at a business's failure and say wow you know that business failed horribly what a massive fail on their part i think equally we have to look at companies and praise those companies and those teams and that leadership when they do something at the right time and i think that earth 2 is very much doing this at the right time are they doing everything perfect inside of earth 2 probably not but they're really working hard and i think that it's overall very impressive to see their level of engagement with the team their effort to improve all features and experiences inside the platform and I think it's just really impressive that they were right in this gamble and that they are entering the space at the right time. So uh, I'm really curious again to see where this all takes off. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all this. I know it's really exciting times here, guys. If you guys liked this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to get notified so you get notified anytime I post a new video. I have a pretty random posting schedule, but I like to stick to at least two videos a week, so you're guaranteed to get at least two videos a week. Looks like you're gonna get a couple extra this week, so you guys are in luck. By the way, guys, make sure to enter the land giveaway if you haven't already. I'll be announcing the winner in my next E2-focused video that'll be coming out next week. It won't be in my weekly update. It'll be in my early week E2-focused video that I post each week. Gives everyone about a week to enter. So other than that, guys, I wanna thank you for checking out the video. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day, and until next time, we'll see you soon.